Oh yeah. Um, and Portal Knights, it's really hard to find portals sometimes. And so they have this nifty thing you can craft. And what you want to do is go and you want to upgrade your work, your little workbench thing here first. The second workbench, workbench two. And once that's upgraded, you go over to your little tool section with the little pickaxe thing here. You go all the way down, and it's arcane compass. You know, it takes one copper block, eight blue portal shards, and one uh, verdant emerald. By the time you get the world like five or six, you should have like a whole bunch of this stuff already. Um, when you craft this, put it into your backpack. Um, you know, take it, put it somewhere over there. Um, we're not going to use it in this world though. We're gonna go over here to this world because this is the one where we can find the portal. <laughs> and there's a few other nifty ways I've heard that you can find it, like um, trying to hear for it. If you turn on the music down, you can try and hear the portal, but that gets kind of ridiculous. So. This tool should work out pretty well. If it does work out, then it can work out for you too. Um, yeah, because I'm having a really difficult time finding this portal. Um, I've built blocks to the tall islands. I've dug down. I've gone through all the dungeons. I've killed many monsters, but still haven't found where this portal is in this level. So. With this arcane compass, it'll be a lot easier to uh, find this portal because it will point to it for a short period of time. Um, then at least we'll know which general direction we need to look at. Instead of just, you know, going all over the place. So, we hit it, and as you see, there's an arrow on my screen that for a short period of time, it's pointing to where this portal is supposed to be. Looks like it's supposed to be over here somewhere. So we're just going to keep going. And we'll see if we get close. So it did go away. Um, we can use it again now. It's not like it's going to go away. Like It's like you have to keep building or something like that. And so we're here now. So we'll go ahead and use it again. It does use some of your mana. So, if you got a lot of mana, you want to do that. It looks like it's pointing maybe like up there. We'll try and, um, pick out some of these blocks here. Now, I've heard of portals being like underground, like hidden way deep underground with few blocks around them and those would be really difficult to find so with an item like this it would definitely help you find those portals. Um, <clears throat> it's already difficult enough just trying to get the portal shards and you know build the actual little portal blocks. Um, so this definitely helps you out. But we're gonna see if we can find this thing here. Let's drop it here. Get some shards. All right. We'll turn this back on. It looks like it wants me to go over there. So I'm thinking it's probably on that little island right there. Um, there's a nifty way to get to these islands too. Just like in Minecraft, you can take these blocks and you can build a bridge really easily. Now you can also get rockets that are like they're supposed to propel you. I don't really trust that because, you know, if you don't time it right, then you die. Um, so we're just going to try and build a bridge here. Some blocks here. We'll 
hopefully get to this portal and get to our next world. Hopefully it just wants some yellow portals, because I don't have any blue ones right now, I just have the yellow ones. How many do we have right now? We have 74. Yeah, that should be enough. And just to make sure, it looks like, yep, looks like it's that one right there. It's kind of weird. It zooms in when you turn it sideways. Um, so, we're going to build this little bridge. Oh no. Wow, I guess the online here crashed. Um, we're just gonna go right back into it and try it again. It doesn't, it saves all your information, so even if you die or something like that, everything will be saved. Um, it will all still be there. And we'll probably still be on the same world, too. And we'll probably still have the same amount of blocks, so we'll just be able to start off right where we left off. And it'll be very simple. Um, <clears throat> like right when we get to the ability to find it crashes it's kind of ironic but we can just jump right back in everything's okay so yeah okay let's do this Here we go. So, we're back here. Again, we still have our little portal finder thing here, our cane compass. So again, we're just gonna go follow this. And what's really cool about this is that even if you turn, it'll still keep pointing in the same direction. So it gives you, like, trying to figure out, trying to pinpoint it exactly, that's a good way to do it too. But I'm pretty sure it is on that little island. As you can see, before I had this, I was building bridges all over the place trying to get to wherever the heck I could. And I was definitely not in the right spot. I was close to it, but not exactly where I needed to be. So, that's where we were building. This is where we went through. jump down here, then die, and we're just going to start back off right where we were. That only took maybe like two minutes after it crashed, so it's not like other games where it crashes and you spend hours to get back where you were. So now since we're getting close, we'll turn this back on, and it looks like, hmm, Looks like it's way out there somewhere now. So, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna run out of blocks. Unless. It's maybe up there where I was. Way up there. Which we can get there. Let's try that. First, yeah, there's no portal on there. Okay. So we're just going to go back and try and go up there and get to this portal. Um,
I don't exactly know if that means it could be anywhere over here, but I'm guessing it's over here, like one of those islands. Because if I turn that way, it's still saying over there. So. Jump down here. Try and find out if maybe. Nope. That is really odd. It's still pointing off into the distance somewhere. Now, I did choose a large world, but I do know that there's nothing over there. Ah! At least we can see. Try the big island in the sky first. Let me see if I go lower if it's gonna point up. Because that's something too. If I go lower and it just starts pointing up. Try that one. I don't think I explored the entirety of that. It'd be crazy if it was actually on that one. There. It's definitely consistently pointing that way. And before we waste our time with that, let's go find out if maybe, just maybe, somebody put it down. Nothing over there. It's always good in a game like this just to check everything out before you go to the harder spot. Check all the easy spots out. Because again, it could just be hiding. Just, you know, I mean, it really could be hiding anywhere. It's in plain sight, too. Alright. That's a little Minecraft trick I learned when I used to play that. I used to actually build stairs up to places before I figured out that you could just put bricks right below you and get places a lot easier. Let's see, we want to get to that. So, we have 
70 bricks again. And what we're going to do is see if we set the bricks to get us Yes, it did. Alright. Got our compass again. And it's still pointing that way. So if it was on this island, it would be somewhere. Oh! Okay. We still have a ways to go. There's still islands way up there. So it could be way up there, too. Um. In that case, we'll want to get more bricks. Before we do that, let's check around this island a little bit. Another thing I learned about Minecraft is you don't want to dig directly under you or else I could have just fallen down right there. What's cool about third person view is you get a different perspective in a way. There is something underneath there, right there. So we are going to try and dig. Downward. For the sake of this, I'm just going to stick straight down. Maybe I'll go with this side. Looks like the something I thought it was, which is just underneath the little island below me. But there is a sound that sounds like there could be maybe a cave or a portal close by. I do hear something. Again, that could just be the sound of being enclosed in the uh, you know, dirt. And it looks like that's just the sound of being enclosed in dirt. That's okay. So we'll go. Oh, strengthen that a little bit. So. Use this again. Ooh, we're out of mana. Alright. What is this? That is mana. So we'll go put this. We don't need fire right now. We'll cover that up. Cool. Now we've got mana. Go ahead and use this again. And the only other one it could be on would be that island right there. So easiest way to get to that. Let's go to the farthest right here. Build up. Now we're getting really close to this thing. Now we're above it. So, this arrow, ah, okay, so this arrow looks like it's more pointing in the direction of the portal zone. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take apart this entire island. on the one above us. Again, if you like finding stuff, then you might, you know, this might be something that would be fun. Because um, it is kind of like a search and find type thing. Ooh, 
Hold on one moment. Okay, and we're back. So we'll do this again. Now if there are two portals, it might be a little bit different. And it's still in that general direction. Hmm. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> and get back to the landing pad here. Let's try this one more time. Still pointing us. So the other thing we can do is we can look around for clues. You look at interesting places. I already kind of went through that dungeon there. Wasn't there. Okay. Let's same sound I heard before when we enclosed the rock. So I'm thinking that's just that. Again, the portal could pop up anywhere, so it could be hidden anywhere within this general direction. And we tried just going straight to where the arrow was, but it pointed miles and miles off of the island, where it obviously wouldn't be. So, There's something hopping around, so we know there's something close by. And the way you can figure that out is you can kind of dig a perimeter around yourself. about one being up on the island yet. We did just dig through that entire big island. Now 
We are getting a lot of XP from this. That's good. And we're getting a lot of blocks in case, you know, it does happen to be on an island. We can just get like a thousand blocks and just like... Feel like the biggest bridge ever. Um, let's see. Alright, well, at least we're kind of going in the right direction. So let's check these islands here. Now, another good thing to do is to set your view distance if you can, you know, whether you're using a PS4 or if you have a good computer. You set your view distance the farthest possibility if it was on an island, you'd be able to see the structure of it. Now the world that I am on here is the one that gets you to the first level box. And from what I've heard, this one is that somebody said it was underground, um, but that was back in 2016. We we're in 17, and we're also on the PS4 console, so there's a high possibility that it's probably not underground, especially if our compass here. Why is it pointing off into the distance? There's nothing there. Okay, so we are going to consult the internet to see how this compass is supposed to work. Um, let's see what it says here. Okay, so I just learned that there are islands with no portals. So. Ah, we are on an island with no portals. As you see right next to level 7, it says portal 0 of 0. That is amazing. Alright, well, that's it for this Twitch. Um, thanks for tuning in, and, well, before we leave, let's go to one with a portal, so I can show you how to, it, it's actually supposed to work. Um, that is crazy. Wish I would have, uh, go back to the home world here. That is wild. I'm really glad I looked that up, because I would have been at this for hours. Zero of zero portals. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know, definitely. There are islands without portals in them, so if you do use an arcane compass and it just points off into the distance somewhere, then you'll know that maybe there's just no portals on the island you're on. And you'll look in the menu like I did, and you'll find out that there's just there's no portals on that island. Um, so here we go. We'll go to an island with portals, and I'll give you a demonstration of how this is actually supposed to work. Apparently you're supposed to go to an island and you haven't discovered the portal yet. Um, but we'll see if this is going to point. So we're going to follow it. Let's see if it'll point towards this portal. Maybe there's two portals on this island. We'll do that. Let's go here. Okay, there's only one portal here. So let's see if this is going to point to that one portal. 
and we'll also see if we go past it, if it will turn back around and try and pull it to it. going to do that. If there are no portals, it's going to do that. So it's always looking for the portal you haven't found. Um, so the world we were looking for that portal we couldn't find on was that one. So we'll go to this one here. And this says zero of one found. So this one should actually point towards the portal. We'll see how it works. So if you find the portal, or if there are no portals, the compass isn't going to work for you at all. Um, so this time it has to work perfectly. Um, it just has to. Alright. Loading here, trying to get this. Uh, trying to trying to get this to. There we go. It's loading now. Okay. So, check out my handy dandy compass here, and it should point me towards this portal. Find out if this is going to work. Okay. Well, you know the general direction it's supposed to be in. It's this way. So. First thing we'll do is jump around here. We are going to find this thing. We'll find it. Whether this compass works or not. Um, the portals are usually pretty simple to find on your own, even if you don't use a compass. Um, they're not all that hard to find. And I've heard of stories like I'm having right now online where, you know, they can't find it. This one here is supposed to have a portal on it, so we, if anything, we should be able to find it pretty quickly. Imagine the different colored portals, like yellow and red, would be a little bit more difficult to find than just like a blue portal. Okay, so something new is happening now. Something very new to just happened. I don't know what that was. But <laughs> maybe that was just me using my mana, most likely. There is an island way up there. I doubt it's just way up there. It's beckoning me. Um, I'm going to instead guess that it may be underground. But we do know that it's in this general line of direction. Like, So the first thing we'll do is we'll just walk around. Avoid being killed. 
What is that? That's not a coral. It's just a... Nothing down there. So I do see how this could be updated in a way that would make just a little bit more sense to most people. Um, it would be cool if the compass pointed up, if it was upwards or down, if it was downwards, but we had like a scale here. That would be pretty cool. But again, no matter how far back I walk, even if I walk all the way sideways here, it's not really... Yeah, it's just the, uh, when I turn the portal. Cool. I'd be amazed if I find the portal when it's like... Over there somewhere. Um... So, we'll do one more thing. I don't like to give up very easily. Um, and again, before you say it's a glitch, you gotta have to kind of have to try everything. If we're gonna try everything, we wanna get. As we're going up, since we do have a view distance, it's pretty good. It's always good to look down and just see, like, if maybe it was too low. Up. So, it could be that island, that island. We will check the boat. I see nothing on that one. And there aren't enemies on that one. Go over there. I would think that there was a ball that would be by enemies. Oh, uh, we're gonna run out of blocks. No! Alright. What can we substitute? We'll substitute the stone. Compass back on. Wow, it is still pointing off into the ah into the distance. Okay. Hmm. Salt the internet again. Because that's what you do when you can't figure things out. You can salt the internet.
Okay, we are reading. Okay, we know a little bit more about it. So when I activate the compass here, the blue stuff here is actually pointing towards the portal. And that's why when we used an island with no portal, we didn't get anything. So this is actually pointing towards where the portal is supposed to be. All right. The internet has helped us. Right, so now we want to go ahead and do it again. Oh, there we go. Something different. And that's that's always good. So now it's pointing us a little bit too far, it looks like. So we'll walk just a little ways this way and stop and wait for our man to reach out. Probably want to make sure you have a lot of mana when you're doing something like this. Turn it back on again. So I'm thinking it may actually be like at the bottom of this thing. That is really misleading, that arrow, man. Why, why would they put that there? Um, let's keep reading. Okay, so when the, the more the little blue stuff is around us, that's the closer we are to it. And if it's all the way around us, we must be right on top of it. So we were actually closer to the portal when we were over here. So. Okay, so it's somewhere. Wait, one more time. There we go. All right, we got something now. So what we're gonna do is it's looking like it may be somewhere down here. We're going to do it one more time, just to see. So we're actually just going to start digging down here. 
do that. Then we're going to go ahead and use it one more time because it does have a depth too. Probably should have used it where we could see everything. above ground and try and pinpoint this a little bit closer. And let's see, what is this here? That's water, that's not gonna help us. Before we do any of that, so we know we're gonna go find some mana. <coughs> we'll need some for this. I don't know if you guys know it yet. But these these big blocks here give you mana, basically. They'll give you little mana potions. And the easiest way to find them is just to go into like a dungeon. And that's where they'll be. And that will definitely help you find portals if you can't find them. Fills our mana entirely. So we know it was generally it's a little bit past the landing pad, it looked like. And usually they really aren't that far away from where you start. So we're gonna try to do this one more time. And as you can see, the more I go, the dots start to fill up more. And when they're completely around me is when I'm basically like right on top of it. Um, we're gonna read a little bit more and find out why they're more lit up in a different spot than the other. Dark. So it looks like we just want to wait till this is perfectly around us. So we're just going to keep running around this general area until we get to a spot where it's perfectly around us. And that's just a little bit of trial and error. Again, it's easier than following an arrow that's just going to point north constantly. Sometimes it's good just to go over here and see what happens. So at least we know we're either in the right spot. So it looks like we were closer to the right spot. Alright, okay. So it should be somewhere around this general area. If we have to, we can take this entire area out too. Again, I like to be exactly perfect before I just I'm gonna dig down all the way down. So it looks like right around here 
really want to start digging down. And we'll go. We'll take all this with us. As we go down. this we have found something we found a portal there it is and that is how you use the arcane compass now let's see what we could have done looks like there's a door down here maybe we didn't have to dig kill this guy right Looks like we could have just followed the dungeon that we saw there all the way here. And you know, sometimes that happens too, there's a dungeon you can follow. But we're gonna go ahead and build our little portal box. We just need six of them. For the blue portals. That's what I did. That's what I didn't do. There we go. That just that only took an hour to do. So. And again, that was even starting from the island that had none. So we'll go through the little highlights of what you want to watch out for and what you really want to do. Okay. So, you already know that there are some islands that do not have portals. And the way you find that out is go to your little map screen and click on the island that you're having trouble on and right next to uh, the level number it should tell you portals, you know, zero out of two or zero out of one have been found. You know, it would say like one out of one have been found or zero out of one. But if it says zero out of zero, it means that the island you're on doesn't have any portals. Also, if you were going to use your arcane compass, you would use it, and the little, you know, little blue aura around you wouldn't actually sparkle. It wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything at all. Like we were on that island and we did it and nothing happened, then we went to a different one and something happened. Um, we know that the aura, the more circular it is around you, the closer you are. And where the aura is more lit, it's pointing you in the direction of it. So, go to my map screen, the new map we're on is one of seven. If we click on it, it's going to say one of two portals. So we found one portal. I have no idea how we did that. Have I been here before? I have been here before, yes. I've been to this level before. So we've had a portal back to the level where we've been to. So it looks like there is one more portal we do need to find. So as you see, one out of two. If it says zero out of zero portals, there'll be nothing here. Um, again, if we use our arcane compass, it's only going to point towards a portal that we have not found. So it won't point towards this portal over here. It's going to point towards the one we haven't found. So if I turn it on, That is the one we haven't found. All right, as you can see, it pointed right towards one we haven't found yet. I thought I had found this one there. It's like right in the open right there. Apparently not. And 
again, if I was right on top of here, it'd be nearly circular all around. If I go farther away from it, if I was like... up here or something, and I turn it on, as you can see it's not all the way around, but as I get closer to it, it kind of gets a little, a little bit bigger. Um, again, it's just a little bit of a trial and error type thing. Um, and that is how you use the arcane compass to locate portals. I learned a lot in this video too. So, yeah. And thank you for watching. Uh, my Twitch channel is Indendosia. It's the same name as like my PSN name. Um, and then my YouTube channel that I upload them on is Games Are For Fun. Uh, thanks for watching. And...